I'm on a mission to get an infernal cape on my hardcore group, Iron Man. But the thing is, I'm playing all five accounts alone. The Inferno is a dangerous death, so I need to get the best gear I can to maintain my status. And I pretty much have all the gear I need. I just need to finalize my supplies and finish off the training process. And then, Inferno. Welcome to the RSI clinic. I'm out here thieving because I need level 57 because now I can use my grubby keys and pick lock the door in the Forthos dungeon. And this is where my supply mission begins. I've got a load of grubby keys from Chilling Temple Spiders to train my range. Now the loot from the grubby chest is amazing for my mission. I can get coins, runes, herbs, but the main thing I'm after is potions. Here we go. Range potion two, the first one. I need two full ranging potions to do the Inferno with. So hopefully I can get fairly lucky. I've got 10 keys to open. Perfect, my first full one. And I'm done, two full range potions. That's all I need for my first attempt. This is probably the most inefficient way to train my defense ever. I've been long ranging with a bone crossbow on these ammonite crabs, but I figured it was worth getting some defense levels. And the fruits of my labor. I've also got a bunch of fossils for prayer experience. I used to get tormented by this little mushroom freak, but now I've got a PhD in the mycelium pool these days. I've also got 200 dragon bones left over from Zora, and I'm going to use these on the wilderness altar because every single prayer level matters. If you're a scaredy cat hardcore man and you can't stand the wilderness, just hop to a free to play world. There's never anyone in these worlds other than bots. The only thing is, I've only got members' food with me, so if I run into somebody, yeah. It's over. I get where I want to go, and I hop back into the members' world. It's just so safe out here. Any second now, an important level coming in. Level 60 prayer. Now, 60 is divisible by four. Every four prayer levels, prayer potions heal one more prayer point per sip. So to do the Inferno, I'm probably going to have 11 super stores. So that's 44 doses, which is 44 prayer points per four prayer levels. That, that seems worth it to me. I swear I'm so impatient these days. Fuck yeah, I've got four lives. I may as well use the bones manually on the altar. What's the worst that can happen? Did I really just log out? from range noob 36. Finishing off 64 prayer, which gives me another prayer point per dose in a potion. Oh my God, finally bro. Dragon implings exist, I've been scouting for ages. I'm of course still hunting chinchompers on the hunter account, but I'm scouting dragon imps because I need glory amulets. <laughs> Glories, yes! Oh, that took ages. We've got to put these DMs on the endangered species list or something. They're fucking incredibly hard to find these days. But I can use those on all my accounts and also in the Inferno. Hey, Marty. Hey. Okay, here. Yeah. What's that? H. H. What's H? That's a lot. It's heroin. Will it take me sick like the Reavers did? I'm going to try it. I dare you. How much does it cost? This one ain't gonna cost you nothing, it's free. Come on. I dare you. Hello, welcome to England. It's much more than bangers and mash. We got geezers out on the lash and- What the fuck? Yeah, that's pretty much how it went down. I don't even know if I died to a wolf or an ogre. I don't have the screenshot thing turned on on Runelight. It was a pretty careless way to go down to AFK, but what are you gonna do? It is what it is. Three lives left. Well, this was useless, wasn't it? Blood, sweat, and tears have literally gone into all these chin chompers. I need them for my range training, so maybe it was worth a life. Pro probably not. 6k, let's get some XP. Fuck it. I'm going to be prayer flicking all of my chin chomper throwing activities down here at the monkeys because I cannot be asked with any more chaos druids. I've got a ring of life on, so hopefully that saves me if I mess up. Yes! Oh! I'm just chilling. Give me, give me, give me you. stamina. Nice. Okay, my final stamina from Jekyll and Hyde. Perfect. This range level is brought to you by leaving the recording on and AFKing in the kitchen. Because that's never turned out badly ever. I'm done with chins. I can't be bothered anymore. Chinning on one, AFKing on the other. It's time to chuck the rest of these. I think I'll have a good range level. I'm 90 hunter, man. Like, that is so long. The last chinning sesh is still taking quite a lot of time to get all the prayer pots, the chins, to throw them, everything. 
RuneScape's just so slow, man. No way. A champion's goal. Oh my god, guys. I am bound by YouTube law to include this. Here we go, the final range level 96. That is huge. I did not expect to get much over 90, but the chilling has been going well. The AFK and the Ranger Amalax has been going well, and I'm very happy with that. It's shopping season. New shield, because I feel like my old one is going to run out of charges. 215. Is that enough? I don't think it is. And I'm chucking my final bit of cash into blood runes because we're going to be using these blood spells inside the inferno. Heal myself up. Even though it is blood burst, it's still good. Lastly, because I'm using rune arrows, I'm going to cop the bolt pouch because we can put two bolts in one pouch, saving one inventory slot. It all adds up in the long run. And for my final task, I need to come down to the theater of blood. Now this is where I'm going to complete my supply journey. I'm spending the very last pennies of my cash stack on the teleport crystal. I can teleport out of the theatre at any time, just in case things go wrong. If you haven't worked out already, I'm coming here for brews and restores. All I have to do is complete the first two rooms and I can buy them from the chest. Wait, but I can't do this alone. It's not going to be a solo mission. Or is it? Wait, who's this guy? No way! It's solo mission to help me! Um, hello? Why is this not working? Oh, I have to, like, lose my prestige or something, I think. There's not really an option for that. Wait, what? I can't join another party with players outside my group. Um, there's no way this is the case. Please. God, don't make me get 81 herbal for bruise. Really? Fuck me. Prestige is where you haven't done anything with anyone outside your group, like raids or tier B. I was perfectly happy to lose this, but it turns out that you can't beat a hardcore Iron Man without having prestige. So, I did not know this whatsoever, and it's completely thrown a spanner in the works. What am I going to do for brews for the Inferno? They take ages to get, so I am honestly in the mud right now. Well, here it is, my final gear. I've got prayer potions and sharks. This is what it would have been if leagues didn't get the lead. <laughs> I would have felt so stupid. Literally, all I need is brews and restores, and I'm ready to go. Unfortunate. I'm going to have to work on a plan to get the brews. Don't know what I'm going to do just now. We'll see. Agility. It's going to be the way I'm going to get my Saradome in brews. We're going to go to the deepest, darkest depths of the wilderness and train up. The goal is to get 70 agility for Saradome in God Wars. There's a common drop of Saradome in Bruise there, and at the same time, I'll be using my other accounts to train up my Herb Law. When I get 72 Herb Law, I'll be able to do Saradome in God Wars efficiently and get Bruise in no time. I'm trying to forget that I've killed 20,000 Chaos Druids and only picked up the Renar Weeds. 60 agility. I can finally stop risking my life out here at the wilderness. It's been quick though. What even is a Mark of Grace? Like, why do these frisbees appear on the rooftops? Does anyone ever question that one? I forgot that my mark's useful now because I can buy individual pieces of graceful and each of them gives a run restore. You don't need the full set anymore. And what has been about 10 hours of agility later, I've finished up level 70 agility, the level four Saradim in God Wars dungeon. I'm gonna chuck in the pieces I have already and I'm actually gonna buy the graceful boots because sour Domin, i need to recharge my run no i got this random event i don't have a tall stall with me i can think i can stall in here if this works this will be so good i'm running with my other account to drop a tall stall to my main and hopefully i'll be able to pick it up and talk to the guy in time and get that stamina from him any second now it should be and the tall stall click on him oh it's worked it's actually worked to stamina. Nice. Living life on luxury mode. I've got so many grapes from Zora and I'm actually training my cooking right now because I want to make botanical pies. I need level 52. You know the deal. Herb law boosting activities. And I can actually boost to make super energies, which could be useful if I want to do some early sour dome in. And I have no self-control. I'm going to use the staminas that I currently have to try and get some early brews. See if this is doable. I've got no slayer level, so I literally have to kill Knights of Sour Dome for Casey. It's pretty fucking chill though. You can safe spot. I'm here. I need bruise or an ACB first kill. Let's go. No way, I got them on the first KC. That's three brews, 
three restores and there are one in 20 drop. Oh my God, let me pick them up real quick. These are literally liquid gold to me. I need around eight overall. So let's get lucky. Eleven kills off two staminas. Now I think that's a pretty good return. Once I get my herb lore level up, I'll be able to come back and hopefully get all the brews I need. So, um, hello again. <laughs> this guy, he hasn't played with us for weeks. You remember we exist? Um, yeah, about that. Have you ever done a herb run? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 